Do you collect invoices and need to set up an approval workflow? Well, let me show you how with JotForm approvals. Hey Jetformers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. And for this, we're going to need to jump over into our approvals area. So at the top left hand corner where it says my forms, we're going to jump over to my approvals and we're going to create a brand new approval and we can either start from scratch. We have a one step approval process or we can utilize a template. Now, if you already have a form and you have a visual idea of how you want this approval process to work, you can always start from scratch. But for this example, let's go ahead and jump over and utilize a template. And I'm gonna do a quick search for invoice. And let's go ahead and utilize this very first invoice approval template. Now, one of the things I love about the approval process is the ability to have this bird's eye view of everything that's happening within this approval workflow. Now, if you already have a form, you can easily drop it into that starting point, that top one, instead of utilizing the one that JotForm is going to give to you. But since I don't, and I'm gonna utilize what they're giving me, I'm gonna go ahead and choose up here and let's, let's go ahead and edit this form. We can see we have their name, email, invoice number, invoice date, comments, and then we can also attach an invoice. Now, one thing I'm going to do to kind of give you another idea is I'm gonna add a form element. I'm gonna bring in another email and I'm gonna call this one the manager's email, perfect. So let's go ahead and jump back over into our approval process. Now we can see that once someone fills out that form, it's automatically going to go to the finance manager for approval or denial. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this option. Let's look at the settings. So we can see that we have two current outcomes, approve or deny. If you want, you can add in another outcome right here. And we can also require a signature for both approve and deny. But one thing that we can do is we can change who the signers are. Because I added that other email field, we can choose for it to go to that manager's email. So we don't have to know what the email is. The person filling out the form is going to give that email for that manager's approval. So here we can also see some completion roles. We can have it be required response from majority, from all, from one person, or from a certain number of responses. So you can choose what's going to fit you best, and we can also edit that notification email. So we can see because we have the approve option over here checked, we have that signature option right here. If it is approved, it's going to go to another form for them to fill out. We can look at this. This is the expense reimbursement form. Again, we can also look at this form. Their name, job title, department, manager name, manager email, and then we have all of those expenses for them to submit. So I jump back over, this looks good. And of course, once they're done with that, it's going to automatically go to an approval report. But of course, if the manager says, nope, it's not good, it's gonna automatically be denied and the process is over. So let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm gonna come up to publish and I'm gonna open in a new tab and let's fill this out. All right, we'll go ahead and submit. And if we jump back over, from here, I am going to head up to my top left-hand corner for approvals. Now we can either jump over to our tables or to our inbox. Now, because I am that finance manager in this situation, I will also get an email notification that I need to come in and approve or deny this request. So I'm gonna go ahead and utilize the tables for this example. And I can see it's currently in progress. I have all of that information. So let's go ahead and click on in progress. And we can see it right up here, it says we have some action required. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll to the bottom and we can see the finance manager, we need an approval step. So I'm going to go ahead and approve and we'll do our signature and sign. So if we click on in progress again, we can see that we are waiting for that additional form to come through. So once that form is completed, it's going to be automatically approved. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to utilize JotForm approval process for your invoice workflow approval, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.